Hi chefs, I just wanna to talk to you a little bit more about the challenges that chefs face when it comes to investing in mentorship or their business. Now, I get it because it is a very challenging time and believe me, I've been there where I could not even pay for groceries and I had two babies at home. So I totally understand the stress of the financial kind of burdens that we have today. But I also want to make it clear that if we want our clients to invest in us and see us as valuable and be willing to spend hundreds and thousands of dollars on us, we have to be willing to invest some in ourselves as well. And I do see chefs having that challenge. And while I know the financial situation is difficult, I don't believe that that's what it always comes down to. And this is because, you know, chefs are still going to be out there partying. They are going to, you know, go buy their eighth of weed. Everybody has that phone, you know, that is like a thousand dollars. The phone we're all talking on. If something happened to that, you would find the money to fix that. We all have our priorities and sometimes the lack of self-worth that chefs have and not seeing ourselves as valuable and not seeing what we do as valuable translates into not investing in yourself. And I know that some of you may not quite get that or may not quite believe that, but if that does resonate with you, understand that it is the truth. And the more you invest in yourself, the more growth you will see in your business. I used to do free coaching calls for like 30 minutes and I stopped doing that. Now, I, I still do them for very little, like I charge like $25 for your first call, but I had to ask people to put some skin in the game because if I'm not at, why should I invest my time, my energy, block a solid you know, chunk out in my calendar and you are not going to show up with that same energy? I'm excited about helping you with your business. I'm so excited that I'll do it for free or like very cheap. But if you can't match that same excitement, then I can't help you. So that's where you guys really struggle. It's like you have to come in and match the energy you want to get. So you're not going to get somebody super excited about your business if you're not super excited about your business. So hope that makes sense. I'm not calling you out, but I'm calling you out. So um, as always, be prosperous.